Oh my God, I'm so excited that I completely forgot to tell you what I'm doing here. I'm at the Quality Chop House. I'm gonna eat mince on toast. It is a traditional English dish. It's gonna look like sloppy joe or perhaps taco meat, but I guarantee you it's gonna taste very different. Let's find out all about mince on toast. See you in a minute. Tell me about the mince on toast because that's a dish that I have been told I must try at this place. In essence, it's very simple. We take the fat from the animal that we've butchered here, fry a really good quality sourdough. We've got the ground beef that we've cooked very slowly with like red wine, beef stock, onions, carrots, tomato, and a heavy reduction. It takes a good few hours to make and then in the end you have, you have this sort of very rich beef braise. You need to try it because it's so simple but so delicious. It's also a very British dish it sounds like. Let's okay. find out how you make it and then most importantly I want to eat this stuff. Okay, well, here we have it, the mince on toast. It is funny that they serve it with a steak knife because, of course, mince has already been chewed for you. And what I'm smelling is, is grass-fed beef. It's got a very profound, distinct flavor. And that's exactly the first note that hits you. Mm. That is uh, pretty intense, pretty rich. The mouth feels like a bolognese, but even more chunky and almost more flaky. So right away, cutting through that bread, the smell of Fried bread is very distinct. It's got a creamy character, which sounds kind of odd because it's deep fried. Mmm. Mmm. This is as rich as that. I mean, it's actually richer than a steak. Between the fat that the bread has been fried in, the long reduction, all of those concentrated flavors of beef, the crunch of the, uh, of the bread itself, really satisfying dish. It really does kind of take you back to when your mother was cooking a mince on the stove and you would grab a piece of bread and dip it in, like, you know, scurry off into the, into the, uh, into the park. It's got all of those things. It's so evocative and, you know, sort of brings up nostalgia. At the same time, it's a very modern dish. I mean, it really is like what British cooking is about these days. Highest quality ingredients, locally sourced, really well cooked. Yeah, it's only a mince, but you can see how much, you know, how much thought and care goes into it. It's not just a batch of meat ground up. I mean, there is a serious blend developed here. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Be sure to watch the next one by clicking here now. I mean, I can't really stand in front of a primer this long and not try some, so I think we should just get stuck in. I'm going in.